Hi Cubbies. Hi Cubbies. Hope you're staying safe and doing well. This is our third lesson online. Hope you, uh, you've been watching the other ones. And we'll try not to make them too long for you guys so you can keep your attention. But we're going to sing our Cubby song. So remember, whoever's good gets to hold the phone. All right, Cubbies, you get it. did a good job singing. So here's our scripture verse for this week, Mark 1, verse 17. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Mark 1, 17. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me. You try it. Okay, let's try it one more time. Mark 1, 17. All right, Mark 1, 17. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me. So if you repeated this verse and did it well, have your parents sign your book. Very good. Now we're going to go on to our lesson. So now we're going to hear about some real fishermen from the Bible. These fishermen were used to seeing lots and lots of fish. But one day they couldn't find any fish at all. Then they met Jesus and something really big happened. In the book of Luke chapter 5, the Bible tells us that Jesus was standing by a lake teaching God's word to a crowd of people. They were probably very excited to hear what Jesus had to say because they kept getting closer and closer to him. They got so close to him that he decided to get in a boat, move out into the lake and teach the people from the boat. The boat belonged to a fisherman named Peter. Peter and his disciples, Peter and his friends had been fishing all night on the lake. Can you imagine standing all night fishing? That's a long time. I know I would get very sleepy and probably fall asleep. Well, even though the friends had finished all, had fished all night, they didn't catch any fish, not even one. When daytime came, the fishermen pulled their two boats up to the shore. They washed their nets to put them away. Jesus finished teaching and he called to Peter, take your boat out into the deep water and let down the nets for a catch. What? Peter was probably surprised to hear Jesus say that. Master, said Peter, we finished, all, we fished all night and didn't catch a thing, but I will obey what you say. Peter and his friends climbed into the boat. They rowed out to deep water and dropped their nets into the sea. Then they felt a, a huge tug. They heard a loud rip. The nets were so full of fish that they started to break. Come help, they shouted to their friends in the other boat. James and John rowed over to help. All the fishermen were together to bring the fish from the nets and into the boats. Soon the two boats were so full of fish, they almost sank. The fishermen were amazed at all the fish. They had just been fishing for hours and hours in this same lake, but hadn't catch anything. Now their boats were full of fish. Peter knew Jesus had to be a special person to help them catch so many fish. Peter fell down before Jesus and said, I am a sinner. Peter was a sinner, but Jesus was the Savior, the Son of God. Jesus said to Peter, Don't be afraid. Now you will catch people instead of fish. Catch people? How do you catch people? Do you use your fishing pole to catch people? Do you use a net like the fishermen did to catch people? Do you have to run really, really fast to catch people? Cubbies, what do you think Jesus meant by what he said? 
Well, Jesus meant that Peter would tell Peter would tell people about the Lord Jesus, the Savior. The Savior. The Savior is the one who can save them from their sin. God sent the Savior. Jesus asked Peter and his brother Andrew to help him tell the people. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Mark 1, 17. <laughs> Cubbies, have you heard Jesus' words before? There, there are memory verse for the week. So whenever I talk about the people Jesus asked to help him, repeat the verse with me, okay? Jesus asked the, asked the other fishermen, James and John, to help him tell the people. So let's repeat the verse. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Mark 1, 17. Peter, Andrew, James, and John left their fishing boats and their nets, and they left everything to follow Jesus. After Peter, Andrew, James, and John, Jesus asked Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, James, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas Iscariot to help him tell the people. Let's repeat our verse again. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me. And I will make you to become fishers of men. Mark 1, 17. These 12 men were called disciples or apostles. And they traveled everywhere with Jesus. Jesus asked many more men and women to help him too. These men and women told people about the Savior. Those people told other people. Now there are many followers of Jesus all over the world. People like you and like me, Jesus says the same words to us. So let's repeat our verse one last time. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Mark 1, 17. We can follow Jesus and be fishers of men. That means we tell others about the Lord Jesus, our Savior. So let's close in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this lesson and thank you that we're able to learn about your word and about being fishers of men and help the cubbies and I to become better fishers of men. In Jesus' name, amen. We hope you enjoyed the lesson today and hope you say stay healthy and safe and we'll see you next time